Welcome to the Libero SOC FPGA design tool video. The topic being covered is a feature of Libero's smart debug tool for debugging DDR memory interfaces. The DDR interface is one of the more challenging types of interfaces to debug. With the help of smart debug, you get visibility into the quality of timing margins between signals in this interface, which can then point you to potential timing and PCB layout related issues. To start Smart Debug, go to Libero's main view and double click on Smart Debug, which is highlighted in the Design Flow tab as shown. Once invoked, the Smart Debug GUI appears. With no hardware connected, the tool defaults to demo mode, but in our case, we will be gathering a DDR Designs training results running on hardware. Click on the selection called Debug DDR Memory. The DDR IO margin feature appears. At the top left dropdown, you can select from multiple DDR interfaces to analyze if there is more than one in your design. That's step one. Step two is to click on Get Training Data. The tool gathers the resultant data from the memory controller's DDR training process. It shows successfully completed training steps with green check marks. It also shows the results of calibration from the I.O. bank that the DDR interface resides in. In this case, the training data opens, showing the calibration status as complete. Calibration establishes the reference voltage, buffer drive strengths, and termination values based on PPT, and so on. If there is an error, a red X is displayed, and the description box will show probable causes to help with debugging. The DDR interface being analyzed resides across two banks, Bank 0 and Bank 6. Click on Bank 6 info to get the I.O. calibration results from that bank. Continue by clicking on each topic down the left-hand side of this tool. Next is the result of HSIO clock to SIS clock training. The top of the GUI provides a description of this training step. This step aligns the rising edges of these two clocks so that data can cleanly transfer between the memory phi and controller clock domains. CK to CA training center aligns CK which is the clock driving the DDR memory with respect to the command address or CA bus. Right leveling is the process of edge aligning the rising edges of CK and DQS. It uses a series of delay taps to adjust DQS until DQS, acting as a clock, samples until it finds the rising edge of CK. The number of taps used in delaying DQS is presented in this window. Right Calibration Center aligns DQS with respect to DQ at the memory. This is the last step in the training process, where known patterns are written to memory and then read back. The DQ bits are adjusted by a series of out-delay taps until the expected pattern is read back. The value shown is the number of clock cycles DQS was pushed until the correct pattern was read. The training iterator view indicates that the training process has completed, as well as the time it took to complete. Before the right calibration step, read DQ DQS optimization was performed. This view displays the results of DQ DQS optimization graphically. There is a DQS per byte lane. The visual shows where DQS resides with respect to the DQ valid window indicating how well DQS is centered as a confirmation of the quality of the training process. As a parting comment, with the aid of field support, an expert mode of this tool can be invoked providing additional information, which can further aid in any debug efforts. I hope you found the overview of the DDR IO margin analysis tool interesting. For additional information, please make use of the following documentation. PolarFire Smart Debug User Guide UG0773, PolarFire FPGA Memory Controller User Guide UG0676, PolarFire FPGA User IO User Guide UG0686, PolarFire FPGA Design Guide DG0756, and the PolarFire FPGA Design Flow for Libero SOC 12.5 User Guide UG0758. Thank you.